what is up y'all today we finna be transforming my knotless braids into butterfly locks i've had i've had these knotless braids in for about almost a month now and like they're really frizzy and ugly like the braids itself looks really good but like the parts are just done for like it's really done for i'm using Freetress braid extra long hair so far i have like four packs and i also have like some previous hair from like other times i've done locks and before we get deeper into the video please hit that like comment subscribe button i know a lot of my subscribers been wanting hair videos so i got you i got y'all i feel like this is something a lot of people do on tiktok but don't really explain so i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna come back later once i finish a couple of it so i can make sure i got it down pack and then we're gonna get into the tutorial so let's get into this change this shit hey guys so i'm back and i'm here to show y'all what i did so i finished the back of my hair that's what i wanted to get them first i just wanted to get down like how much hair i'm using and stuff like that it's actually going pretty smoothly the only thing is the hair is really long ah. so that's why it's probably taking me a little bit longer but i don't have that much braids left i just have to do the front so i'm gonna show y'all how you can turn your knotless braids into locks boom bap bap bada bap 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 oh these things i'm using i'm using shiny jam and i'm using um even 24 hour edge tamer this one is just to put all over the hair this one is to make the hair a little bit hard because i do want this to last for another month so this part is to help with the frizz but you can choose whatever gel works best on your hair those two just work best for me first you take your braid so we're gonna do this braid i have a bead on the end and i think i'm gonna keep these beads on the end um because i want to try something out but i take your edge control let me zoom in more make sure once you get to the perimeter of your hair pull out your edges when you do locks because locks are kind of a tight style when you first do it so if you don't pull it out your edges are gonna get snatched so pull out your edges that's what i did because i wanted dramatic edges anyway so i'm gonna put the gel on the braids and depending on how old your braids are you dictate how much you're gonna put um, mine were really frizzy and since the parts are really big it just makes sense for me to put more put in it i like my hair slick like more product you put the more build up you're gonna get in the end me it's, i'm okay with it because like i could take it out but like some people don't like build up then you're gonna take your crochet needle and then you're gonna take the hair you're gonna wrap i'm just opening up the hair because since i do have larger braids i want to make sure that you can't see the braids under so try to fluff out the hair as much as possible this is passion twist hair i'm using this pack is from amazon but i've been primarily relying on my free tress hair because it's a little bit more smoother and silkier you're gonna just pull it through the hook the hoop the hook the hoop i don't know Now I'm finna start wrapping and you choose which way you want to wrap. I'm, I'm gonna wrap clockwise. So I put a lot of focus into the root itself because that's where I know it's the most like puffiest. So I want to make sure I have a good grip of the root before I travel down. Uh, uh, uh. You can see like it's getting tighter. It's starting to look fresh as new. And then now I'm gonna make my way down and as I go down I'm gonna open up the hair so that it covers the braid just like that and then as I do that I'm gonna start making loops so that you actually get the butterfly effect this is the thumb method you put your thumb through like a little portion of hair like I'm gonna take this part right and then you're just gonna hold it and then just wrap over it see what I did so I put it through I'm holding it and wrapping right over so your thumb kind of gets stuck and you want to wrap like twice two times so that it's secured the loop is secured and then you can just let go and then boom so you just keep doing that going down and it's pretty self-explanatory pretty easy um 
it all just depends on how much braids you have on your head um how big they are mine are pretty large so that's why mine requires more hair and also because it's longer too and as you can see you can see some of the braid here so i have to be mindful for that just the more you open it the more coverage you'll get if you want the really distressed butterfly look i recommend you doing the thumb method every two three wraps because that's how you get the more like puffy and i also really like my roots to be skinnier than the actual lock only for the fact that like if i do like a certain part it's not really bulky on top so try to get your roots skinny and then as you go down you can bring it make it more bigger this is longer i have to keep adding hair so i'm gonna keep adding hair keep going down and we're just gonna do the rest of the front i'm using two strands of features for every wrap over but like i said again it, it depends on how thick your braid is do have a longer braid i'm gonna show y'all how to attach the hair so as you see like my hair didn't go all the way down and i still have this part so all you do is you take your hair your features here and like you kind of leave some like at the top and you bend it like that then you just put it over the part where you're gonna begin the hair again and then you just hold the smaller portion to the braid and then the other portion which is longer you just wrap it around and you just keep wrapping so as you can see i'm wrapping around the smaller portion in the braid so i keep those together and then the longer portion is just going around showed y'all how to do that one lock and the next lock i'm gonna show y'all how you complete the lock because this one i didn't have to do much because i had a bead but i'm gonna show y'all how to loop it so that it doesn't unravel okay y'all so here's another lock and this one i decided not to put the bead on it so i'm gonna show y'all how you get the lock to not unravel wrapping it towards the end and you can see this is the end of the braid and it's the hair see i am wrapping to the left what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pinky and you're gonna roll the hair up just like that like this and then you're gonna start wrapping the opposite way of what you was wrapping originally so i was wrapping to the left now i'm gonna wrap to the right and make sure you wrap real tightly around that pinky just enough for it to come off but not too loose to the point where it could just fall off so i'm wrapping to the right now opposite direction i'm making sure i secure that end and then i'm gonna slide it off and boom and you can still kind of see the elastic left over from my bead so i'm just gonna cut it off but other than that that's how you do it and just like that you could wrap it like this you could probably burn it or whatnot to make sure it doesn't unravel but this method worked for me and hasn't unraveled my rocks my locks so that's it that's it y'all it's a lot of work but the steps are pretty straightforward and i feel like this is the most like this is the best opportunity for you to do your locks when it's already braided for you because one it's already parted for you two you don't have to do the braiding process and three all you have to worry about is wrapping. These are the locks I've done so far. 
is the other side i'm gonna just keep going and we're gonna finish this tonight we're finish this tonight by 10 it's 7 and we're gonna finish this tonight i'm gonna keep going show y'all me just doing it um and yeah <laughs> Give me yeah, I can't fuck with these niggas cause niggas is gay So watch your mouth, not so come in and show y'all their hair i finished it last night but i i don't like day one or day two here um this is still like i still consider this day one here but i want to come in and show y'all because i really do like how it came out this is how it looks um it goes all the way to my butt i have this one bead right here and then here's the other side i really really like it only thing is it is really really tight right now and like that's gonna happen because you are adding locks over braids so that's a little bit more like it's gonna be a little heavier than like if you did locks with your natural braids under it's a little tight right now but it's gonna loosen up so i'm not too worried about it um i really like how it came out guys like it's really cute i did my edges it's really super duper cute y'all you could take a brush and you could literally brush out your locks if you brush out your locks it's gonna make it more frizzy that's a quick warning it's gonna make it more frizzy but it's gonna make it look more natural and just messy and if that's the look you're looking for you could use a brush for that the final product I hope this helps y'all I hope for the people that do got knowledge right now and you want to get your money's worth do this it will save you so much time and it will look cute in the end thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to hit that like comment subscribe button and yeah i'll see y'all in my next video